So for those out there who don't know, Joey Crack, Fat Joe, is the dawn of the sneaker game. We all saw him on TV, take out a pair of kicks, lick the sole to prove that they were fresh and never worn. So we get that he would be involved in the sneaker world in some way, shape, or form. But the curveball is definitely Scotty Kicks. This kid is 19 years old, and for the last couple of years, he has been the sneaker dealer to your favorite rapper, your favorite athlete. So the two of them combining forces to open up NYC is why we are here in Harlem. Let's get some kicks. We are here up NYC with the kid protege himself, Scotty. He's only 19. I feel like Jay-Z at Hot 97. He's only 19! <laughs> Let's walk through your space, man. This is beautiful. So over here is like some of the, the hype shoes that we have coming out, you know, this Saturday when we open up. The Prestos, we've got them in stock. The OG4s. What do you mean when you say in stock? Uh -huh. We have inventory. You have inventory. Yeah, so of these mo things. everybody's mostly sold out, but we have them. Now, where are they coming from? This is like your stash, Joe's stash. No, or? this is from Nike Direct. So yeah, this is a Nike and Jordan store. Direct you got some juice. Working on it. All right, what else? What else? <laughs> You're 19, bro. And I feel like you've been doing this for a minute. So tell me how you two even got years. into it. Two, two or three years. So I was 16 years old. You know, I was always a hustler. Always making money, so people knew that. Fell in love with sneakers with all my friends, started buying sneakers every weekend with my friends, and I didn't have enough money. So I'm like, how can I get the sneaker for free? So I started flipping the shoes, just the cover to get my own sneaker. Right, right. You know, that, that year just, it changed. I started selling all the Giants players, all the Jets players, and then later that year, I was staying in Antonio Brown's house with the Pittsburgh Steelers, going to Pro Bowl with them, Super Bowl. They saw how young I was and the great relationship I had with all my clients, it was, like a brotherly love, same thing I have with Joe now. Now we're in the retail game. <laughs> now, um, yeah. now you set the line. Yes, and you know, I'm, I'm glad to have Nike, Jordan, A6, Timberland, Puma, everybody on board with us, you know, be part of the history. This is just the first to come, hopefully. So this is the exclusive, you only got one pair section, right? You don't have multiple couple. pairs of these. We have a couple. The Black Toes come out this weekend, so of course we had to have them. The ones, the Supreme Fives, DB13s. These come out December, so we can release them uh, early. So, wow. Joe has a great relationship. <laughs> That's it. You know, Fat Joe, he's the Don for sneakers. How did you link up with Fat Joe? He actually called me for a pair of shoes a few years ago. And ever since then, you know, FaceTime out of the blue, we'll be close. And, you know, we was with each other like almost every day, every other day come to the studio, go to dinner, go to his hotel with his family. And I said, you know, let's, let's open up a, a store. Bad Joe, Fuse TV's here right now. Do you, you want to say something real quick? Hold on, I'm, put you on I'm gonna put you on speakerphone real quick. This is Joe. Don, what up? Yo, what's up, baby? How you doing? Yo, man, this place is looking like Wonderland in here, man. You know, we doing it for the community. We doing it for the sneakerheads. We just trying to do it right, man. We trying to do it right. That's all. We trying to do it right. We really put our heart and soul into it. And not only just making it a retail store and giving the fans or all the sneaker kids an opportunity to get their favorite sneakers for box price, but we also put the culture in there with the museum in the middle of the store. Just, right. Just giving them, you know, history. All right, we got to talk about this. We have to. This wall is like the museum wall. Shoes that people never even seen before that Joe brought out of his collection, other people's collections. It's crazy. You can see here we got Quentin Richardson sent us a few exclusives that he has. We have the Terror Squad 8. You know, we're made just for Joe. That's his face on that. He's wearing a, a, a New Yankee York? hat, yes. That's insane. <laughs> These are the M&M TS4s. We got the TS on the back. Come on, man. Y'all not playing around here. We're not. Those are the Timberlake ones up there. 14 yep. pairs what, What's the deal with these? If I wanted one of these. No, priceless. There it is. We cannot sell these. So you're opening up with a bang. What are you going to do moving forward that's going to make Up NYC different from all the other kick stores here in New York? We're giving back to the community. You know, Joe's from his neighborhood. Kids are coming here, meeting Joe. 
That sneaker museum that we have here, it's not just a display, the shoes that kids never seen before. Every month we're gonna bring in a new athlete and have them invite kids from the neighborhood and talk to them about that shoe. So Ray Allen will come here, talk to him about the shoe, what happened this game with this shoe. We're just gonna be involved with the community a lot. When can people get in here? Where is it? Give them the lowdown. All right, so we open up Saturday, November 5th. We located at 3806 Broadway between 158 and 159. We open up at 10 a.m. Lines are starting, but you know, there'll be, there's enough pairs for everybody to get one. So, you know, be here. Fat Joe will be here. Everybody will be here. It's gonna be a movie, something that you don't wanna miss. Definitely is.